going to do a video now. Okay, the kidney is a very important organ in the body. It helps to regulate the pressure, high blood pressure in the body. It also helps to get rid of the waste material from the body through the form of the urination. That was a long time to go. Are there any food that are good for kidney? Yes, they are. Foods that are good for the kidneys are those that are low in sodium, which is low in salt. Because salt or sodium is one of the things that help to damage the kidneys. That was a wealth of information. Okay, other foods for the kidneys are like berries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, all the berries. They are good for the kidneys because they help to give the kidneys strong defense, immune system strength. And apple too. And apple, yes. Apple is good for the kidneys as well. And banana, every fruit of the Well, world. banana, banana has in something called potassium and the kidney cannot manage too much potassium. So when you eat bananas, you have to eat small portion because if you eat too much bananas, it will put pressure on the kidneys to get rid of the excess potassium. Now that's amazing. Can you tell us the issue that can affect our kidneys? Kidneys malfunction when the electrolyte level in the body is too high. I'll explain. Potassium, sodium, chloride, phosphorus, these are electrolytes. They help to give the body balance. Whenever they are too high, the kidney cannot manage to get rid of the excess. So the kidneys sometimes fail to get rid of the waste that is in the body. So when this happens, the patients have to be given special medication to get rid of the waste or sometimes they are put on a machine to get rid of excess waste from the body. Other issues with the kidneys, if the patient blood pressure remains high for too long this can also affect the kidneys two if the patient has what is called fluid overload it puts pressure on the kidneys excuse me it puts pressure kidneys so the patient has swelling, feet are swollen, legs are swollen. So it's a, like a fluid overload or edema. One of the treatment or some of the treatments for kidney issues, medication to control the blood pressure, to control the, to balance the electrolytes in the body. So if the potassium is too high, the patient will be given a medication to reduce the potassium level, to reduce the sodium level, to reduce phosphorus levels. Two, the patient is also recommended for what is known as dialysis, which they are put on a machine for about two to three hours and the blood is flushed to get rid of what is known as creatinine and blood urea that keeps the kidneys healthy. Special thanks, X10 Dead, to Dr. Gale for being with us. I hope you learned a lot. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.
See you next week. Sweetie. That also affects the kidney. So the amount of water that the patient take Look is very important. Okay? Say it again. Look at me alone. Look at the camera. Allow her to speak. Okay. So patients with high blood pressure is also affected me alone and I look at that. okay no problem doctor patient with high blood pressure is also affected so you have to control blood pressure two sometimes patients have what is known as fluid overload and you have to control that because there's a lot of fluid in the tissues of the lower body it is called edema that affects the kidneys as well. Also, if the patient has any obstruction in the bladder, that will cause the urine to backflow and give the patient what is known as a big word, amazing. hydronephrosis. Amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing. Oh, no, I want to sleep now. Mm -hmm. Is um, certain. Danny, yes. look in the camera. Extended and extended. Mom, you have to do it a one time, a third time, then and it, a fourth time, it, and a sixth time. Then okay. X first. X first. Okay.